another match vlog, guys. Manchester United versus Chelsea. Super Sunday settings, bro. Top six settings, man. And you know what, right? Speaking honestly, speaking honestly as a Manchester United fan, I, I don't know what I'm, I'm going to get today. Hopefully, you know, I do get the... Hopefully, Manchester United do get the W. It's going to be difficult for us. Hopefully, those players show up today, bro. I genuinely hope that those players show up today and actually fight for the badge, bro, because you've got no manager. You've got no manager at the moment. Yes, like Ruben Van Nistero is the interim manager, right? But you guys have to show up because Ruben Amrum, I'm pretty sure he's going to watch this game. And like, if any one of you guys are not playing good enough, bro, <laughs> sell him, Ruben. Sell him, fam. But uh, I, I, just, I just hope we win. That's the, literally it, bro. I just hope we win, fam. Because I saw Matisse on uh, DR Sports going crazy um, at Flex saying we uh, expect nothing but 4-0, dude. I'm just like, God damn, bro. Like, these guys expected a little bit too much, man. Like, he's, he's disrespecting Manchester a little bit. I, I know that we're terrible, but these guys and these players need to come with some pride, bro. You can't be letting Chelsea do this to us, man, today. You cannot be letting them do this, right? But um, I am going to get myself down to Salford Keys, down to um, uh, Old Trafford as well, um, to, to, get in, uh, to get in amongst the Manchester United fans as well and get that real feeling for like a match day, bro. Because when you're Old Trafford, there's like a change of like atmosphere, like when you're there for, for, for match day, bro. Like the feeling is completely different, by the way. So it's very magical. So I've got myself down there guys so i will catch you guys um yeah down at old trafford peace running quite a bit late i got a lot of running I, I was uh caught up i was caught up at, um, at home with something else I, I was doing other business but yeah man i really love this view is absolutely fucking stunning bro like it's just nice it's just a nice area bro and I, and I work around here too so i see this view almost like every single day literally the office where i work in is just like behind me but i'm going to show you guys where i work so some of you guys are stalkers bro some of you guys know my family members way too close as well fam so not showing you where you guys where i uh, where i work bro and also a uh, team sheet should be out as well i'm pretty sure a team sheet should be out i need to go check it out uh, straight after this because right now it's like roughly around half past three and i was aiming to get to old trafford for half past three so i'm running like 15 minutes behind and this guy keep there's this guy here but yeah um i'm gonna have to go check it out though this guy bro this is bro he keeps he's, he's, this, this is the second time it's passed me bro like even the speaker fabi kills me though i think he's preparing for a marathon though we will see see how oh, I, I wish him good luck i do wish this guy good luck bro Come towards the bike. <laughs> 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 I said it before, um, atmosphere feels very different now, you know, as soon as we get here. Uh, but Faz doing an interview, so he's over there taking pictures. Um, there's Adam over that side. Like, the feel is completely different. A lot of people thinking that we, we're going to lose. Um, again, like for me, avoid defeat, fam. Avoid defeat, that's all what just matters right now. Um, I, I, I am, I'm proper banking on uh, Robert Sanchez or making a, a mistake. That, that's what I'm banking on right now with Chelsea because um, there, there was a guy telling me that Chelsea have got a lot of firepower and they do. They do, bro. If you're being on and Kunku and draw Felix off the bench for, for your attack, dude, that can cause us problems later on. Um, hopefully, Ahmad does do something for us. Hopefully, Ruth Van Nistelrooy does actually use him correctly, but we'll have to wait and see about that, mate. Hello, fans. These stairs, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. One sec. Try to be sure you how far up this is. <laughs> it's fucking far, bro. These stairs are a killer. Every single time, mate. 
elevators, elevators, guys, elevators. What are we gonna work out from? Man's got his prize sort of fam. Man's got, man's got that freaking Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri on thing fam. <laughs> it's crew United fam. Got up at McLaren. <laughs> I actually had to sing this song uh, for a year for a uh, talent concert. I had to sing this exact song. Imagine, imagine. Needless pass, needless pass there from Ganacho, bro. Needless pass now, Chelsea in the attack now. Send him in, good. Well done, Masrawi. Dude, well, there's other passes fucking forward. Oh, 
Come on again, again. Going on. going on has been holding on to the ball for way too long about 11 11 seconds on average on average i've been i've been counting as well he literally slipped he literally slipped and he gave the fucking foul for that has always been doing uh, pretty well has always been playing pretty well in my opinion bro but it was left soon uh, it's a free kick for chelsea free kick so far I mean we're just too slow going forward man we're way too slow bro and on holds on to the ball for like 11 seconds whenever like the midfielders whenever like the midfielders get the ball they all spin and just pass the ball backwards bro. Like, it's, 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 it's not sensible fam. I think we need to be more intense uh, there needs to be more intensity in the second half from the players I think if we give more if, I think if we give the Chelsea player uh, more more intensity we, we press them hard I do think that we can win this game but we'll have to wait and see about it we'll, we'll, we might have to wait and see but I'm, I think I might go get a snack I'm going to get a snack yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well done. I knew that was gonna happen. The way he stepped up, you know, I knew, I knew that was gonna happen, bro. I knew he was gonna slip. I don't know what I said at fucking half time, but this is not good enough, bro. I, I swear down, bro. This is fucking shit. This is shit, bro. I don't know what I said at half time, bro. It's like, too, it's, 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 it's too lethargic. It's too lackadaisical, bro. There's no intensity, bro. There's no intensity, bro.
Come on, Bruno, lad. Bruno, come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Please, Bruno. Final kick, come on, man. Casemiro, the link. Anyone, please. Please, man. Crowds here. There was one woman, she came in it. If you guys have not seen it, go on the um, United View and, and go check it out. So basically, uh, Flex was doing his uh, match uh, reaction, right? And there was a woman that came in and she was like, oh, yeah, Casemiro. And then she basically read it, said a racial slur after that. And everybody like stood around, literally down. They're like, what the hell is going on? They said he's going to keep that in. He's gonna actually going to keep that in, bro. That was mad. That was mad, dude. Because like, there was a guy like in, in the red hat. He turned around and he was very like, mad at her. And then, like, but crazy, 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 crazy. She does not represent Manchester United fans, in my opinion. Absolutely disgusting behavior, bro. Behavior, bro. That's just, like, in, bro, like 4K, fam. Like, just straight up says, like, get the effing N words out. Crazy, crazy. Is that enough to is that enough to mash him up? Is that enough for me for, to cook for it? The shit he spoke on, on your channel, right? Yeah, you can't come here he and get a one. Yeah, he can't even win. 
<sighs> and we are back, guys, from that game. If you, by the way, if you hear somebody talking right in the background, it's, it's my guy again, bro. He's my, he's my roommate. He's, he's in the other room, bro. He's playing again, right? But yeah, mate, that game today, dude. Oh, honestly, oh, <laughs> I was expecting, dude. Like, one, one, one draw. One, one draw. Both teams weren't good enough, in my opinion. Um, Chelsea, they, they kind of did surprise me to how, like, toothless or unserious they were do you, like it's it's such a strange game like the quality the quality for the players was just all, all of them just not good enough bro i think the only guys right that the, the only guy for me that stood out out of all like uh, 22 players on the pitch was uh, uh, Mazraoui. I, i'll keep re reading it here, bro like Mazraoui for me is, is, is a steal for us this season dude that like, left back and is playing like that absolutely unbelievable like the, the quality in our attack is not good enough i said this at the start of the season like I think sometimes people might generally do think that I, I'm, I'm, I'm being um, what, uh, uh, impatient. That I, I, I think people will generally do think that. Uh, they'll say that, oh, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm impatient, right? But the attack that we have is not good enough, guys. It's abs there's, I think the only guy generally that's exciting in that Manchester United attack is Ahmad. A lot of United fans don't like Xerxes. I, I think that we're using uh, Xerxes wrong in, in, that, in that system, like in my opinion, right? But Hoyland, Rashford, Ganacho, man, like these guys. Yes, Ganacho and Hoyland are young. Rashford is, he's, 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 what, 27 years old and he's, he's playing like that, dude. Like he's got Cucurello, Guscus, like bombing past him. He's not tracking back, man. Like it's, it's, it's the same story with Marcus Rashford. It's the same story with Marcus Rashford from, from last season. It's just not good good enough it's generally not good enough man and again like the intensity of play like i i said it right to the guys like next to me um i to, to the other guys that i i put in the match vlog right shout out to them because they were absolute vibe right i said to those guys that like w if we bring intensity to that game i think we can actually surprise chelsea that's generally what i said to like i, I said that like, if these guys today are actually proper on it because the united fans guys like the today like they were rocking they were bouncing like today old trafford was actually bouncing dude i'm gonna lie like like the the, the the supporters today like they brought atmosphere to to that stadium bro but those players on the field bro it, they they generally did not match it did not match it it's, it's so many needless passes as well there was one where i think it was like between rasmus or uh, rasmus hall and, 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 and ganacho where hall took a little bit too long to play in ganacho ganacho was offside dude just so much things happening so much things happening but hopefully that ruben amberin can come in and just change his team around i think that majority of players need to be sold i think there needs to be a mass exodus again they, they, there has to be bro there has to be fam like uh, rashford i think he needs to go i think that bruno man I have to go as well Lindelof came on and started making mistakes playing in that DM spot bro it's, it's crazy absolutely crazy but guys thoughts comes concerns you know do comment down below as a usual Ollie. thank you for staying this long and watching this vlog it generally means the world to me bro I actually enjoyed myself today it was, a, it, was a, it was a good day bro absolute good day shout out to Flex shout out to Trapez shout out to Brad shout out to Marcel um, all you guys absolutely shout out to Cam as well but yeah I'll keep you um I'll keep you guys. I'll see you guys on Thursday. There's another match coming Thursday. Man United versus Park. So um, I'll see you guys then. Peace.